All right, guys, welcome back to today's video. Check out my website, www.rngperformance.net for all of your CF Moto goodies, clutch kits, accessories, clutch parts, the whole nine yards. Before we get into today's video and tear into this transmission and see what it's all about, I've been told that something is broken in there and we're gonna find out what it is. I wanted to tell you, this little hole, your side-by-side -side will have it or your four-wheeler will have it. This little hole, if you ride in the water a lot, keep it clean. Do you know what it is? I'm gonna tell you what it is because a lot of you probably don't even know that it exists. It is a water drain hole for the spark plug. If water gets in there, it can short out and cause misfires. So make sure you keep all the dirt out of that hole so you can keep water out of that hole. Without further ado, we're gonna start disassembling this transmission. Now guys, this transmission here is the simplest transmission that you ever could work on, really. And we just gotta get this uh, snap ring. I hate little tiny ones, but you want to push that with your hand, let the spring do its own thing, come up, okay, we're going to push that, we're going to lay everything in these valve covers. This right here is your shift mechanism, I'm not real sure what CF Moto calls it, some transmissions call them drums or whatever, but I don't know what CF Moto actually calls it. And just pull that shaft right out of there. You do not want to drop any of this, these shafts or these gears. We're not going to pull every single gear out of here. Some of the ones that are stuck in the case, they can stay. I just want to get the majority of this stuff out of here and check all this stuff, make sure it's good to go. So look at that. Everything down in there seems to be good. I'm not seeing what's broken. I really don't see. He said there was something broken in here. I really don't see what's broken, or he thought that there was something broken in here. There's Park, that's what he's talking about. He said it doesn't wanna go into Park. So if we can figure that out. Cause that's what he was saying, unless I don't have it all the way in. Huh? Feels like, feels like it's all the way in. It's all the way in because we can move it all around. Oh, I see the I do see the crack it's down here. Let's see if we can get that apart. I'm gonna pull this apart. All right, so we have to pull this apart here. Go just a little bit of a love tap there. Come on, baby. That seal should be replaced. Pull that out. We're gonna set that aside. Okay. You guys said you wanted up close. There's a little retention ball. There we go. Don't wanna lose that. We'll get it out. All right, now we gotta pull this C-clip off of here. Pull this gear off. Pull this other C-clip off of here. There we go. I'm gonna put that bearing back on there. There we go. There it is. There's the failed part right there. I can feel it. This is your parking paw. This is what shows your motor down in the park and it's broke. So guys, if you're having a hard time with your machine going into park, that is what this part does. It shifts it over and it shoves it into park. It locks this paw up against some gears. You see those teeth right there? This one right here is all kinds of janked up and so is this one. So this parking paw needs replaced. That's the whole problem. And then there's a hairline fracture right there where my thumb is. So guys, this right here is what will keep you from putting your machine in park. Now, one thing I wanna tell you is 
This right here is exactly why you can't haul your machine in parked. And really, all they had to do was make this a better, beefier part. Not real hard to do, really. This is just crappy, stamped out steel is all this is. So this will go on the, pl the list to get replaced. So guys, your transmission is literally that easy to pull apart. I mean, there's nothing to it, absolutely nothing to it. And super easy to do. It's really just overall simple. You can't, you can't screw this up. I mean, it's very simple. Now this unit here, this is for your four wheel drive. This feeds your in output shafts. Um, no sense in even getting into there because nothing really goes bad in there. So this gear here, which a, a lot of times are called a snorkel gear, this gear here drives this gear here, which drives your input and output shafts. Now I will say this one does feel a little chunky, but anyway, this right here drives your output shaft. One goes to your rear diff, one goes to your front diff. Super easy, super, super simple. I don't know, I think the bearings feel a little funny on that. So I think what we're gonna do is get a, a rebuild kit for that and we'll just rebuild that when we're ready to put the motor back together. But for now, we need rod bearings, crank bearings, and this parking paw. And then the bottom end can go back together. Well, we need gaskets and stuff like that. And then the bottom end can go back together. And that'll be that. So this is gonna sit apart here until I can get the parts. It's gonna take me a while because I got some digging I wanna do for this motor here. So, all right guys, peace out. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you for tuning in and checking out this transmission with us. Super simple, super easy. Don't be discouraged guys, it's like playing with Legos.